So everybody knew that this was actually coming, but it is time to discuss. We're also going to be looking at Harpy prices on this video, as this is going to double up as, well, Marco Watch. So the new Link Reigns pack gave us a little glimpse or a little preview of what many of us were kind of like, oh, oh no, Harpy support, Harpy Link monster. Like, what's going on here? Well, they did it. They gave us a Harpy Link monster. And a lot of people are a little bit indifferent about this. Um, I've heard a lot of, oh, it sucks. I've heard a lot of, oh, it's it's pretty decent for what it is. Um, card art definitely does remind me a little bit more of my Valentine herself in spandex. Um, <laughs> probably a much younger time in her life. Uh, for art, but definitely interesting. Also, you are seeing here that we do have the good arrows for this, which is exactly what I like to see. So, 1900 attack, eh, not a big concern. Honestly, it's just a generic link monster. Of course, wind wing beast herself. And then combination materials are two wind monsters. The first thing I think I've heard from people is, oh no, I can't Zephros to make this. Yeah, everybody probably wanted wing beast or something like that. It sucks to suck, but you know what? Honestly, at the end of the day, such easy conditions, um, at least within the Harpy archetype itself, is pretty good. So you can only use each effect among the second and third effects with this card's name only once per turn. So first effect, this card becomes Harpy Lady while on the field or in the graveyard. This is something that we've kinda known to come and love. Uh, with this deck, and this is honestly how you start fixing the archetype, uh, just having more cards being able to be named Harpy Lady while either on the field or in the graveyard. Um, I think that this is nothing really too special going on here. Uh, the second effect of a Harpy monster you control will be destroyed by a battle or card effect. You can destroy one spell and trap card you control instead. So this is actually pretty interesting. So being able to protect a Harpy monster, period, by killing your own hysteric sign or any of the new hysteric support coming out or coming out in the future, this is not a bad effect. I definitely think, for the most part, that we need more effects like this because Harpy decks always kind of have the problem of we need ways to turn our spell and trap destruction or the spells and traps that we have into a means to gain advantage. Because, I mean, yeah, normal summoning a harpy, attempting to kill your own stuff is is great. But at the end of the day, like, I mean, is really that good. But having that protection effect, uh, kind of just set two cards, and you have, like, if you go full out, you know, special summon all the harpies from your graveyard, you know, as long as, like, your opponent doesn't try to massively board wipe you three times, I mean, you're looking at a pretty good position. Then if a face-up harpy monster you control, other than this card, is returned to the hand, you can target one special summon monster your opponent controls, return that monster to the hand. So, what is it? Harpy Dancer grants you the ability to return it back to the hand for an additional normal summon. Um, I actually think that this is pretty fucking cool. Um, I've heard that there's ways to get two bounces with Harpy Conductor um, all within one turn, which is actually pretty good. Um, and, I mean, yeah, the effect's restricted. But it's like, being able to know that you could, if it was unrestricted, do it more than once per turn, it's kind of cute. But I mean, for the most part, getting one bounce, getting a protection um, once per turn, like, eh, I think the card's pretty decent. I mean, considering, you know, it, it's harpies at the end of the day, like, you know, you're going to have the best support in the world. But overall, I mean, the card's relatively good. Now, of course, with new hype and things like that it is always worth looking at the market and tp feather dusters this is ridiculous to me there's a mod play one for 292 and a german psa graded one for 1200 dollars like hello <laughs> like so much money in one card now, things like Retro Pack 2 copies of Harpy's Pet Dragon, I mean, all mod plays, and then there's an Italian on the market here for 101 It's not bad. Regular Harpy's Pet Dragon? Oh, hello there. God. I, 
I bet these are terrible. Oh, light plays are like 20 bucks. And then your mints are about 30 for FMR. That's not bad at all, actually. Like, good job, FMR. Oh my, the Harpy Queen market. What the heck? Wow. So 65 for Unlimited. Then it jumps up to 70, and then 88.50. And then, whew, first ed light play is $100. And then we go up to 135, and then 140. Oh my god, there's another page of these. Now 150 and 150. Man, the Italian one, I. Regina Apera. God, that looks so cool. Man, the old ulti market is just so ridiculous. Those are expensive. That's wild. Dual terminal preview, Harpy Lady ones. I mean, light play at 27 is not terrible. Uh, the ultimate pet baby dragons. Oh man, I bet these are. Well, I mean, 25 for light play first isn't bad. Near mint, 48 dollars. That's a yikes. That's bad. Uh, regular harpies, pet dragons. Um, are 10 bucks. The Legendary Collection of Joey's Worlds, that's a lot. Battle Pack Feather Dusters coming in at about 550 I mean, when haven't those been a little bit more ridiculous? Looks like Harpy Channeler Ultimates. Unlimited's 14s, and then it goes 16 Oh man, this Harpy Sport's very real. And then 20 bucks for First Eds. Cyber Ladies. Or 11s. Um, the regular sneak preview versions. Hmm. Not a lot of these on the market, actually. Light plays are like 4 bucks. How bad does this start going? Yeah, it looks like you can get 6 bucks for near mint. It's about what I want to see, actually. Regular channelers. Looking at about 7 to $6. I saw the one struggling light play down there. Harpy Queens. Coming in at about four bucks, actually. Uh, what are rares going for? Uh, rares about two fifty, two forty. I mean, she's gonna get reprinted. There's absolutely no reason why she won't. Harpy Lady Sisters. Oh man, I'm afraid to see what a first ed one of these is going for. Of course, there's no first eds on the market for sisters. Why did I think otherwise? Harpist about two seventy, actually. Uh, Feather Storm's going to be about two bucks. Looks like those are creeping back up ever so slowly. Hunting Ground's about fifty cents. As well for the back end. Phantasmal's coming in about fifty cents. Um, I think that's it on this side of the Harpy stuff. All right, Hysteric Sign. We've kind of stopped looking at this for a little while because it wasn't really doing anything too special. Um, you're looking at about four bucks. Feeling on every copy here, no matter what really happens. Yeah, about five for first at near mint. It's not awful. Parties, looking at about 45 cents. That's also not bad. Um, I don't feel bad about party being 50 cents. Not at all. And then last but not least, Elegant Egotist. So, Retro Pack Common, since everybody likes to buy out Retro Pack cards. Coming in about eighty six cents. Like it, it's it's not a big popular demand, but it's there. And then I believe this was the higher rarity version, the one from Joey's pack. Yeah, about twenty cents. Surprised so nobody's tried to come through and eat these out. Like, in all honesty, yeah. All caught. There's a lot of elegant egotist reprints, kind of sitting out there. I want to look up Tomahawk. Or not. I guess I just don't know how to spell this guy. Well, for the most part, honestly, I think everything in Harpies is relatively cheap, and that's good for a secondary market. Um, I know a lot of people are going to want to pick up this deck. I know a few people were talking about wanting to just mess around with things in general. Um, with Harpies, just kind of getting ready for things um, in general. So don't be fooled with the new hype considering the fact that 
the harpy stuff like this is $150 like yikes so guys please leave a comment down below tell me what you guys think about the new harpy support and well guys i'm out peace the ride never well truly ends thank you patrons without you guys i don't know what i'd be wearing in these videos i might be a trouble shuffle instant all over again guys please also check out vancole 40 for some awesome banger content some other interesting stuff you might find up here on the left or in the description as well thanks for watching